Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Today I have Star Wars, the Vintage Collection, uh, Baby Yoda, the Child, also known as Grogu. Um, this is the figure where uh, we've, we've already gotten Grogu, the Child, Baby Yoda with uh, the Mandalorian. So that was like a two-pack. He was like an accessory that came with um, the beat-up armor of Mando. And uh, so now we get this separate one with the pram, which is very exciting. Um, for all you people out there who haven't been watching The Mandalorian, you are missing out on some of the best Star Wars content to come out in years. Um, way better than the new trilogy, um, way better, uh, yeah, yeah, I would say way better than the prequels, honestly, um, just fantastic, just fantastic, Favreau just hit it out of the park, and him and Filoni, David Filoni, uh, just combining all the elements from the original trilogy and the prequels trilogy, and just making something new and fantastic. And uh, an example of that uh, would be Baby Yoda himself, uh, Grogu. So it's just very exciting. So uh, keep an eye out in targets right now because this wave is hitting targets on the west coast of the United States right now. Um, I got lucky. Uh, I was just scanning eBay and I was looking for the Boba Fett in this series, and it popped up, and then the same seller just listed all the figures right away, and I messaged him and, and asked him how he got the figures, and he was in Arizona, and he was at Target at night, and they were stocking, and he just got lucky, and uh, he was even kind enough to go back and get Grief Cargo for me, because I really wanted that figure. So here we are with the child uh, in the pram from season one. Uh, I almost didn't get this figure because I did pre-order the Razor Crest, and the Razor Crest does come with this figure, but in the new uh, shiny uh, version of the pram. But I just, you know, I, I wanted the Pram, and I wanted it now, and I just really like this series and what the Vintage Collection has been doing, so I had to get it. So, there's uh, Baby Yoda on the card. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know his name's uh, Grogu and the Child, but I just can't help but calling him Baby Yoda still. I think he'll always be Baby Yoda to me. But there he is. Uh, it's, uh, it's a good image, I guess, if you're a card lover. Um... I know that uh, Bosk on Bosk's Bounty, he's all about the cards, so check out his channel. I think he's fantastic, and uh, I watch all of his videos as well. But if you're a big card person, check out his channel. But I don't, I don't care about the cards. I like to just open it up and do an unboxing and experience the figures with you guys right away in real time. So anyhow, it's a good image. I, I don't know why they can't get like HD images though. It just looks out of focus and blurry. Uh, maybe that was just the shot, that the screenshot that they lifted from the show. But uh, it's from season one, it looks like. Maybe they, it looks like that scene when they were in the desert fighting the Mudhorn uh, from season one, but I'm not exactly sure. So that's the card. And there is the back. And uh, this is Vintage Collection VC184 is the number on the figure. Some people will find that important. So VC184. Uh, other figures in the series are Princess Leia, Bespin Escape, Z uh, Zatan, and I think that's Yak Face, um, or Snaggletooth, I can't remember <laughs> what his real name is. Uh, Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi, Queen Amidala from Episode 2, Anakin, Skywalker in Disguise, The Child, Battle Droid from Episode 1, and Grief Karga. Enough about that, let's bust this baby open. Here's a good look. So, I mean, this thing is so small. I'm going to show you guys just how tiny uh, the three... This is, this is for 3.75 inch scale. 
So, oh wow, okay, so the bubble is like two pieces. So there's like a back bubble and a front bubble. So I pulled the back bubble out first so we can look at the pram and get a good look. That's just really great. I mean, look at that. Look at that level of detail. Hold on one second. My light is just come undone. Okay. But look at that level of detail in there. Look at the texturing on the blanket. Um, really great. Uh, there's there's multiple colors on the inside, so so they didn't just like wing it and half ass it. They they really did a good job on this pram, which is really nice. And there's a nice clear translucent translucent stand because um, the pram uh, hovers around, which I love that. I love how they've used it in the show and have just pulled it back and forth. So that's really awesome. I'm gonna set that there and. Oh, so just like uh, the Black Series had, uh, he comes with a little frog creature that he eats. <laughs> so there's his food. Hope you guys get a good look at it. Um, they even painted it a little bit on the back. So there's like shading on it. So just a nice little touch, nice little accessory. Real soft plastic there. I can wiggle his legs as you guys can see. Sorry if my hands look really beat up. I was working on my car this weekend, changing my brakes and rotors, and I mutilated my fingers because those babies were rusty. But anyhow, let's get him out. So as I was pulling him out, like um, his arm popped off because Baby Yoda has just a little bit of articulation. Uh, Justin, oh, see, I'm so, it's so small that I'm afraid I'm going to lose it. So the only bits of articulation this guy has is in the arms and they're on just, oh, and on the head, sorry. And they're on a ball joint. But look at how detailed that is. Like looking at it on camera, like this is so small, guys. You have no idea how small this is. Um, this is tiny, so just to give you a sense of how small it is, I'm going to get my tape measure out for you and show you um, exactly how big this guy is. So he is approximately just under an inch. Uh, more than a half an inch. He, now he's like a yeah, he's about an inch tall, like maybe eight centimeters, if you can see that. That's how big that guy is. So he's really tiny. And here he is compared to, this is Black Series. This guy came out first, and I actually like the scale on the Black Series. And he is, so Black Series is a little bit over an inch. So he's about an inch and a centimeter, or an inch and a, like maybe two centimeters, I would say. But, but yeah. So that's the size comparison between the two, as you can see. Uh, on the Black Series, they actually articulated the feet. On this one, <laughs> I mean, they, they could have done it. They put a little peg on the bottom as well. But yeah, so if you guys didn't get the, the Din Djarin 2-pack with Baby Yoda, this is a, a new head sculpt. So here's the original figure. And I think I like this one better that came with Din Djarin. This is the more timid one, and his ears are bent down a little bit. Uh, there are subtle paint differences in this one. Uh, his little tunic is, this is painted like a lighter color of tan, I guess you would call that. So this is more of a creamy tan look, where this is more dark, darker looking. Uh, I I don't like the, the facial expression as much on this one. I, I don't think they were able to capture it as well at this scale. It's, it's just so small. So I do like this guy better. Um, and that's what he looks like from the back. This one has a peg, and the one that came with Din Djarin does not have a peg hole. 
So that's fascinating. Something to pay attention to. And here he is compared with the man himself. This is episode three, uh, Master Yoda. Uh, and Yoda being a small figure himself. I mean, he Yoda towers over uh, the child. Like, look at how big Yoda is compared to the child. So that, that's fascinating, too. And let's put him in the pram. Let's see what he looks like in there. And there he is, nice and timid. And here is the other piece. And they even put uh, some weathering on there. You know, I wish they could have really went all out and designed the pram where it closed on the top. I think they could have done that. I'm sure that would have been more expensive, obviously, but they, they could have thrown a spring in there and, and, and have done that the way they did on the show. That would have been fun if they could have done that, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. And let's put the top on and see how that goes on. I'm having trouble. I'm not sure if it's just supposed to, like, sit on top or if it's supposed to secure itself. Oh, wow. Okay, so the back end comes off as well. Yeah, so you can put the back end in. Oh, yeah, it is It is supposed to. There is a ridge there. So it can... There we go. So I got that part on. You got to just firmly push down and without knocking the other piece off, which I did. Let's see if I can get it back in it. It's really difficult to get it on. Because when I put one piece on, the other piece comes off. I may have to like cut that with a knife because I don't think it's like perfectly snug or remold it with a hair dryer. But anyhow, that's what it looks like on. Uh, this piece is loose though because this one is like kind of pushing it out. So they didn't cut that perfectly on mine. And here he is with Mando standing there pull back a little bit and here he is with luke return of the jedi jedi knight luke more like jedi master but yeah it just looks phenomenal and <laughs> we'll put uh, master yoda in there for good measure there's yoda so, great figure. Uh, if you didn't get the Razor Crest, you want to pick this one up. I mean, heck, you just want to pick it up anyhow. And we'll put him right there. And it's just a great little addition to your collection. Especially for anybody who are vintage collection collectors. I would highly recommend this figure. I love it. I mean, he is the cutest thing since Gizmo from the Gremlins. For sure, and and I definitely think they took inspiration um, from Gizmo. Here is the other Yoda or uh, the child in there, Grogu in there, and let's see if we can fit. Uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can put the Black Series one in there. Black Series one is a little bit too big. Black Series one is as if he went through puberty, and he does not fit in his little crib anymore or stroller. <laughs> So, put him in there one more time so you guys can get a good look at him. And there he is. Uh, Grogu, the child, a.k.a. Baby Yoda. Highly recommend this figure. Keep a look out at Target. Um, I know I keep seeing on eBay that uh, and all over on social media that he's popping up all over the place, these figures. So, keep an eye out there so you can get them. And uh, scour eBay, uh, and you may get lucky like I did and get a really good price. Um, so if you like the channel, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep making videos. And I say God bless you all, and peace.